Meanwhile, the chief operating officer of Summit Carbon Solutions has testified before the Iowa Utilities Board in Fort Dodge. It marks the start of a third week of testimony there. Summit is seeking a permit to build a CO2 pipeline that would run through parts of Iowa. Radio Iowa reports that COO James Powell is in charge of the design, construction, and operation of that proposed pipeline. He says their project is about making sure ethanol plants connect to the CO2 pipeline and that they make a profit. During his testimony today, Powell was asked, would the project in Iowa proceed if the North Dakota Public Service Commission does not approve a permit there? He said no. Summit did submit a revised permit application, however, to, the North, to North Dakota's PSC. Now, the COO says Summit would accept a condition requiring approval in North Dakota and South Dakota for phase one of the project. According to an attorney questioning Powell, the city of Erling, Iowa, has submitted an objection during proceedings to move the pipeline further away from that city. Well, I'm just saying that at, at this late stage in the, in the project, it's very difficult to move the pipeline. But not impossible. It's very difficult to move the pipeline within this application, and I don't intend to amend this application. But you're moving it in North Dakota. We, we had some incentive to move it in North Dakota. Again, that had nothing to do with safety, had nothing to do with risk, in our opinion, or economic development. The pipeline was already outside of the economic development area. When asked about the relationship between Summit and the state government and how landowners want to have a fair say in those hearings, Powell says so far in the hearing proceedings, he has seen no impartiality. Meanwhile, the South Dakota Public Utilities Commission will be making three decisions in regard to another company, Navigator's CO2 pipeline. One is whether to grant the company a permit for their pipeline to go through five counties. A second is whether the commission should override pipeline ordinances in two other counties. And the third is what more conditions, if any, should Navigator face if a permit is granted. Now, what the commission decides on Navigator's pipeline could indicate how they would move forward in regards to Summit's application for that CO2 pipeline. The hearing for Summit's permit in South Dakota begins on September 11th and runs until the 27th, a meeting set for Fort Pier.